Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. My name is Charity and this message is for Virgo. So I got a donation um, from someone who watches my channel and I was able to get two new tarot decks. I'm super excited. Uh, this one is the Mystical Manga and this one is the Tarot Grand Lux. So I'm going to thank you all for making that happen. And I was so excited that I I'm doing a bonus reading for everyone because I just can't wait to use these cards. So we are going to get into this. This is going to be a love reading for how your person feels about you. So we're going to take an in-depth look into how your person is feeling about you. We're going to do a Celtic cross, see the heart of the matter, any past situations that might be affecting the connection. Um, what they're thinking, some intentions, uh, potential outcome, hopes and fears, everything. So, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the cards uh, with the Mystical Manga Tarot, and then I will do clarifiers with the Tarot Grand Lux. So, so far I've been really enjoying getting these readings done. Wow, the pizza. These new cards, I'm just, I'm, I'm a fan of the original right away. It is my favorite, but um, I just love to get the new imagery. I feel like I will get messages, like unexpected messages from different cards. So I'm really enjoying trying out some different ones. So, okay, one more card, Virgo, and we're going to get into how your person is feeling about you. Okay. For the heart of the matter, we have the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. It's a powerful card. I really like it in this tarot deck. This is the classic Wounded Warrior card. This is someone who's been through some things. Their guard is a little up. They have a little trouble trusting, um, but they, they do want to take a stand. It's like they're still leaving a door open. There's, 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 these are wands, so there's passion there. There's desire, and their feelings are very strong. So I do see them having very strong feelings for you. But their guard is a little bit is a little bit up. This person has been hurt, maybe in this connection, maybe in other connections. But I feel like they're learning and finding their way and learning to be strong regardless. What's crossing you is the high priestess. So this is trusting your intuition. It is quiet. It is a quiet energy. So this is how they're feeling, um, how your person is feeling about you. It's like they have a lot of passion for you, but they're a little guarded, and I get a sense that they're being quiet because there's a lot of intuition, a lot of deep feeling. This is someone who has a knowing. They have a psychic knowing. They might be communicating with you psychically, might be thinking about you, might be dreaming about you. It's possible they're not saying a word. We're gonna, we are gonna pull clarifiers on every single one of these cards and get a little deeper into the reasoning here. But this is, uh, this is what we have. In the deep past, we have the Ace of Coins. So, oh, and this is Virgo energy. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. So, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here at the heart of the matter. What's crossing them is Virgo energy. So you are definitely on their mind, Virgo. Like 100%. They are thinking about you a lot, a lot more than they might even say. So in the deep past, we have Ace of Coins, and that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like the two of you had a beginning. There was something there when they met you. Like They saw all the potential. The Ace is like the beginning of, of everything that ultimately leads to the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a long-term connection. It's that person that... Like you want to spend the rest of your life with. You just want to be around them. I feel like they they felt 
comfortable around you. They, they trusted you. It's a very earthy, very stable energy. And they saw a lot of potential in that new beginning. Like they really wanted to be with you. In the recent past, we have the moon. More secrets. I'm telling you, Virgo, this person thinks about you. They think about you all the time. They dream about you, maybe fantasize, but I don't know that they're communicating. This is a lot of secrets. This is more intuition, so I get a sense that your person is intuitive, like, and, and I feel like there's some psychic communication going on, possibly back and forth. But I don't know that they're really, really sure. I don't know if they're really com communicating. The moon has confusion. There's mystery. There's secrets. I'm not sure if they know what to think and feel or if they know how you feel about them. What's grounding the spread is the queen of coins. So absolutely, that is your energy. That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Oh, and the moon is Pisces, if that's significant. It feels like you are just on like, like on the top of their mind. You are just what they what they long for and think about and desire more than anything. If you look that it's this is like right over the card for the heart of the matter for how they're kind of seeing themselves right now. And though they're guarded, do you see how they're thinking about you? Like this is what they desire. They see you as very just earthy, trustworthy, beautiful, confident, almost, almost maybe even out of their reach a little bit because they're seeing you as just so, I don't know, spectacular is the word I'm getting. And they're seeing themselves as kind of a, kind of wounded, maybe battling their way through life, like a lot of challenges, a lot of things they're facing. And what we have going forward is a two of swords. That's indecision. This person is kind of up in their head about things, which is unusual because their, their intuition is so good with the high priestess in, in the moon. It's like they know things, but they don't really maybe fully trust their heart. It's like with the two of swords, you know a decision needs to be made, but, but you don't want to look into the to your heart for the answer. You're trying to look in your mind and figure it out and be logical, but matters of the heart cannot be solved through logic. So we are gonna pull clarifiers on all of these, as I said, and we'll see how they, and see how they go. But how your person is seeing themselves as temperance, they believe in this. This is a major arcana. Um, High Priestess and the Moon are major arcana as well. They believe in this connection. They believe in you. They believe that they have been guided by spirit to meet you, to know you. They see the potential here. With the Ace of Coins and the Queen of Coins, they really do see you as just honestly having everything that they could possibly ever like, ever want in a person. Maybe they've put you up on a really high pedestal in a sense, but they believe in you, Virgo. They really do. And um, they they want to be with you, but they're they're feeling patient, like they're feeling like they they have been guided to you. They they do. This is someone that does kind of trust their intuition, and I feel like they're seeing signs around about you, thinking about you, but they're kind of leaving it sort of up to spirit. I don't see them, at least at this point, like quite making a move because temperance is patience. It's a patient energy. It's also Sagittarius if that is significant. How other people are seeing them, it's the Seven of Pentacles. Also waiting, more waiting energy. Temperance and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like there might be a little lack of confidence here in this person. I feel like they've, like they've been through a lot that they might not be really trusting their heart. They feel almost like with the Seven of Pentacles, like they have to work for everything. And I don't see them really making like strong, quick moves, but I feel like you're on their mind all the time. But there's something that they're waiting for and they might even be waiting for you. 
In their hopes and fears, they have the Page of Cups. They want to communicate. They want to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you how they feel. But there's a vulnerability here with the page. This is sweet messages of love. This is communication. This person really does have deep feelings for you, Virgo. They really do. But there's something about them that hesitates with this being in their hopes and fears. It's like they want to talk. They want to talk about how they feel. And yet they're, they're vulnerable. For the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Wands. Oh, and the Page of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and then the Seven of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So if any of that is significant. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We started with the Wands. We're ending with the Wands. I get that, that this is a creative person, a passionate person, somebody who might really work hard for what they believe in and really go after what they want, and yet they, I see them being really conflicted about how to move towards you. And yet with the Knight of Wands, they very much want to. It's almost like say the word and they're gonna be there. You know, like they wanna be with you. They wanna be near you. They're excited about you. They're passionate about you. But I feel like they have a deep respect for you too. But they're seeing themselves as like a page or a knight, like maybe not really having what it takes. And they're seeing you as a queen of coins, male or female. We do not do gender in these cards. This is just the energy that they're seeing you in. They just, I just get that word spectacular. Like they just think you're fan, you're just fantastic. Like you're exactly what they've been, they've been hoping for. And yet they're kind of in this waiting mood, but it's like, I almost see like a horse, like somebody holding like a horse, like right at the beginning of the, like the reins of a horse right at the beginning of a race. And all they have to do is just hear that like shot fire and boom, like they're going to go. It's like they're waiting for their moment and then they're just going to go for it. So we're going to get into some clarifiers here and see what's going on. Okay, why is the Nine of Wands here for how Virgo's person is feeling about them? Why is the Nine of Wands here? We have... Hold on. We have the Judgment card. Wow. So they do want to resurrect this. They want a second chance. This might be someone... I'm even seeing a potential Divine Connection here with the, with the Temperance card the high priestess, um, the moon. There is a lot of love here, but this person wants a fresh start. They want a new beginning. The judgment card, that is a resurrection. That is something being resurrected. They might think that if this is something, if this is a connection, um, especially if it's like divines and separation or something like that, they might think that this is over and done with. They might think that they don't have a chance, but they want a chance. They want to resurrect this. They want a fresh beginning. They want to leave the past in the past. They want to make this decision with the judgment card. I feel that they have. I feel that they've made this decision for you and they want to act on it. Like they can barely hold themselves back from the moving forward towards you. A lot of emotion, a lot of passion. And yet with this seven of pentacles, like willing to work, also willing to wait in a sense, almost as if, if you're not quite ready for this, like this person, I feel like they're willing to wait with the temperance and the seven of pentacles. If that's what you need, if time is what you need, like they'll give it to you. It's almost like why I see them kind of restraining themselves. Like I said, like holding the reins on that horse and just waiting for a shot to be fired and they're just gonna race forward. Like I almost feel like maybe they're not sure if you're if you're ready for this. With the moon, they're a little confused about how you feel. Okay, why is the high priestess here for how Virgo's person feels about them? Why is the high priestess here for how Virgo's person feels about them? Two of swords. Once again, they don't know how to make this decision. They're not saying a word because they don't know how to make this heart overhead decision. They're thinking too much. They're too much in their head. They're not sure. I feel like they might be afraid of rejection possibly because sometimes that's what you do with the two of swords. It's like you really want to move towards something 
and yet you don't want to trust your heart because maybe your heart has betrayed you in the past. Maybe you've gone after what you've loved and maybe you've been disappointed. Maybe you've reached out. Maybe it's like, maybe it hasn't worked out. And so the next time you think, well, I'm going to think this through. I'm going to be really sure before I put my heart out there because I don't want to get hurt again. Hurt again. I have to get, be logical about this. It's like, I feel like they're thinking about you, dreaming about you, honestly manifesting this connection. And yet they're almost in like this, like refusing to make a move, like this overthinking place. Like, oh, I've put my heart out there before and I've been wrong. You know, they don't want to be wrong. So why is the Ace of Coins in the deep past for how Virgo's person is feeling about them? Maybe the Ten of Wands. How do you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands? You know... With this being like the Ten of Wands is like the end of a burdensome cycle. And the Ace of Pentacles is a prosperous new beginning. I almost feel like, and I'm feeling a lot of emotion here, that when they met you, it's like they felt like their search was over. Like they, like a cycle in their life had ended. Like they could lay down just all the burdens of everything that they were like, trying to do and trying to be and trying to accomplish because they found what they were looking for. I don't know, that's different than anything I've ever seen before, but I feel like searching for you, longing for you, longing for this connection was burdensome and tiresome for them. And they carried a lot of weight and, and, and they have, I don't know, I feel like they have a lot of, a lot of walls, but a lot of passion. And I feel like when they met you, they felt that this new beginning was here and they could just lay down that, that burden of, of not knowing like who was the one for them or what was the direction of, of their life. It was like they felt like they really found something in you, Virgo, something really different. So why is the moon here for how Virgo's person feels about them in the recent past? Why is the moon here for how Virgo's person feels about them in the recent past? Five of Wands. They're very conflicted. Your person is very conflicted, Virgo, and kind of confused too. I feel like they're almost battling themselves. Like they're so passionate about you. They feel so deeply and intuitively connected to you. And yet they're in this holding pattern, like this two of the swords, like not wanting to make this, this decision. But this is a passionate person. This is someone who's willing to fight for what they love and what they want. But I don't think that they're going to fight for you if they don't feel like you're what, like they are what you want. Like I feel like they really have to know. I feel like they're really confused. Feel like you might have some other options um, and be interested in other things. It's also possible that you had some sort of conflict or disagreement or something like that since we're looking at the um, recent past, possibly something that left your person confused. But it doesn't stop them wanting to be with you. It doesn't stop them thinking about you. It doesn't stop this this drive and this passion and this this love, honestly, that they feel for you. But they, they are conflicted, that is for certain. Okay, why is the Queen of sorry, <laughs> Queen of Coins <laughs> crowning the reading for how Virgo's person feels about them? We have the Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. Because they want to move towards you. They want to make this romantic offer. They want to tell you that they love you. They really do. They, this is love. Like the Knight of Cups is love. Knight of Wands can be moving forward with a lot of passion, can be kind of moving kind of quick, can be kind of wanting a lot of things to happen at once. The Knight of Cups moves forward with love. And with love, you are patient. Patient. Love, you are kind. Love, you are generous and understanding. I feel like they do love you. And like I said, respect you. This person, that's Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again here, really has deep feelings for you, Virgo. 
they want to be with you. They do. Like, you are it. You're the only one they want. Why is the Two of Swords here for the, the intentions of Virgo's person? Why is the Two of Swords here for the intentions of Virgo's person? Ace of Wands. Oh, I think they're going to make this decision. That is for certain. Um, this person might be the kind of person that moves kind of quick, gets straight to the point, goes after what they want because we've got all this fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, they're very passionate about you. They might almost even come on too strong. It might throw you for a little, uh, uh, you know, throw you a little bit because I do see you as being in this kind of patient energy and this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I do see you, you know, I mean, you wouldn't be watching this reading if you didn't want to know how your person felt. But I'm not sure how you feel about someone coming on this strong. Like, they want to be with you. They want a fresh new start or a second, you know, second chance. Um, but they definitely want to tell you how they feel. They want to talk to you. They, they, they are just crazy about you. <laughs> like, seriously. Why is it temperance here for how Virgo's person sees themselves? Why is the temperance card here for how Virgo's person sees themselves? Five of Swords, more conflict. They're so conflicted about this. And it's possible that you two had a, a disagreement of sorts or something you said or something they said was very hurtful. I do feel like there might be, there might be some pain here. With the Five of Swords, you've got thoughts that are just that are just kind of going in circles. It's kind of like pointless disputes, pointless battles, pointless bickering, that sort of thing. This might all be going on in their own mind that they're going back and forth on how to move towards you. Or it's possible that you that the two of you had a, some a disagreement that kind of left them confused and not knowing how to move forward. It's funny, it's the energy of tonight. I don't know what it is, but... Leo's person was also very conflicted. Like, I saw a lot of this. A lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of desire to make this work. And yet a lot of internal conflict. I know. Different readings are going to resonate differently for everyone. These, this reading is not going to be for everyone. These and um, these are general readings. So, you know, you can always check your moon, rising, Venus. I have more readings that I'm going to be putting up tomorrow. This will be the last one today. Um, but, um, but this person, whoever I am, if this is resonating with you, your person's really conflicted. Why the people are <laughs> around them are seeing them as the seven of, uh, pentacles is because they're in four of cups energy. They're not happy with their life without you, Virgo. They miss you. Nothing's quite the same. This Ace of Cups here, this opportunity, they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. And this love that they feel towards you, they don't feel it towards anybody else. There's no one that makes them feel the way that they feel with you, Virgo. I get a sense that they're willing to wait, too. Like, if you need to work things out, I do feel like they don't want to miss a chance with you. But... I don't think they want to rush you either if, 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 if you're not wanting to be with them right now. Like, whatever the situation is, with the Two of Swords being clarified by the Ace of Wands, they want to talk to you. They want to be with you. They want a new beginning. They're excited about you. But they're not, they're not moving forward. But with this kind of just sweet, patient, kind of respectful energy of the temperance and this the Seven of Pentacles, I don't see this as necessarily a bad person, but I, I almost feel like it's somebody waiting for like, uh, waiting for a sign or waiting to be sure or wanting to know how you feel. And I swear it's almost like the littlest thing from you and they would just tell all, like that's what I'm getting in this reading. But um, sometimes it can go vice versa too, only you will know that, sometimes. <laughs> Okay, why do we have the Page of Cups and the hopes and fears for Virgo's person, how Virgo's person is feeling about them? 
Why do we have the Page of Cups and the Hopes and Fears for why Virgo's person? Page of Coins in reverse. It's possible this person made an offer to you in the past, but it wasn't what you were looking for. Maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe they weren't willing to do enough or give enough give enough time, give enough attention or energy. But I feel like with the Page of Cups being upright in their hopes of fears and the Page of Pentacles being in reverse, they want to make this offer, but they're, that they're afraid they're going to be rejected. Maybe they, they do feel. I mean, it looks like there has possibly been some disputes, maybe a breakup here. It's possible you let this person go. But they have not stopped thinking about you. They have not stopped wanting to be with you. But they don't want to be rejected. They don't want this offer to be to be rejected. Okay. Why is the Knight of Wands in the in the potential outcome for how Virgo's person is feeling about them? Why is the Knight of Wands in the potential outcome for how Virgo's person is feeling about them? Came your coins. Boy, there couldn't be two more different energies here. The Knight of Wands is very passionate, very quick, very, you know, can be kind of almost an immature energy. They don't think through things. They they want to be with you. They, you know, and it's possible that in the past this person may have come on a little strong. Um, sometimes the Knight of Wands can be a little boastful too. It kind of a little bit of an ego. Cross watchers don't get mad at me, but um, Virgo, if they were, I don't know, maybe talking themselves up or acting like kind of a big deal. I know I do that sometimes. I'm Aries energy, you know. It's just because they liked you so much. And, um, I do feel like, and I'm laughing at myself here because I see myself doing in this. And this Knight of Wands is kind of like that teenage, like young person kind of energy. Almost like they're tongue-tied about you and want to act, you know, around you and want to act like, you know, kind of a, a big deal because they're just, they're just so impressed by you. But then they don't think it through very much. And it's like they don't sometimes don't have a lot to, like, back up everything they want to say and everything they want to do. So that's the Knight of Wands energy. That is not the King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> the King of Pentacles energy is a mature confident energy someone who knows who they are they know what they want and they're willing I mean they're saying they're willing to put their money where their mouth is you know that saying I don't know why that came to me that's significant for someone but they're willing to follow through on what matters to them knight of wands doesn't always think about the follow through and maybe that's what might have like if you broke off things in this connection or something that might have been what what kind of turned you off? They might have come on too strong and they might you might not have felt like there was any real concrete potential behind what they were offering. But I feel like this person has matured. You don't go from the Knight of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, without learning some serious stuff. I feel like this has been a spiritual journey for them. I really do. With the judgment card the high priestess, the moon, I mean, the temperance. It's very possible it's a divine connection that has completely transformed your person into, into the person they came here to be, the person they always had the potential to be, and maybe the person that way back in the, in the beginning you fell in love with. But I feel like you've had some ups and downs. And it's going to be different for everyone. For some of you, this is, you know, you're, you know what your connection is. You know who your person is, you know. Um, and you know how you feel about them and how you feel about this offer. And it is completely, obviously, 100% up to you. I tell you what I see. I tell you what spirit shows me. But you have to trust your, your heart on this. Because there's a lot of conflicted energy here. But in the end... We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a match. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. No matter what sign they are, they do feel like they're a match for you. They do feel like you're a match for them. Um, this can be soulmates, divine connection. With the Knight of Cups, there is a lot of love here. 
but it's it's possible this person may have come on too strong and now if they're being completely quiet boy that's got to be confusing because i'm seeing a lot of this i'm seeing just a lot of like back and forth energy but i do feel like they want to know like they want to know if you feel like they are the person for you the way that they feel like you are the person for them. But I do feel like they want to be there for you. I, I do feel like positive energy coming from this. So you're the only one that knows how you feel, what you want, and um, and what you can overcome. And this If this is a divine connection here and you resonate with that, you have definitely had your ups and downs but you have both grown tremendously through this love for one another. So, I like it. I, it's a powerful reading. It really is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, I hope that something in this reading spoke to you and something resonated. And if you did see something that uh, that moved you and you'd like to look into it a little deeper or get a personal reading, I am offering now, them now on my website at jadedjanice.com. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. I want to thank you so much, all of you, for watching, connecting. I appreciate each and every one. I will talk to you soon.